Talking about 28 nanometer challenges, I think we have uh, both microeconomic as well as macroeconomic challenges. On the macroeconomic side, we are going through a jobless recovery, which uh, not using any fancy terms basically means that when companies get their revenue back up, they're not going to add all the headcount uh, that they let go. As a result, they will have fewer teams uh, to work on all the associated uh, things that are needed for completing a design. That means IP, that means supporting uh, so, uh, verification teams, architecture teams, and so on and so forth. On the microeconomic side, I think we have a consolidation going on in the industry, uh, the foundry side as well as on the IP side. All, if you put it all together, it means that the companies will have less and less people to support their design. So who will have to step up and do that? I think foundries will have to step up and do that. So in the next generation, 28 nanometers, I believe the foundries that will win are not only the ones which have the best technology at 28 nanometers, are also the best uh, ecosystem. Ecosystem is going to determine the success and the failure of the foundry, and which is a major dif uh, you know, departure from what has happened in the previous generations. I think foundries are going to pay a lot of attention to the ecosystem and we will see a very strong ecosystem emerge in uh, the coming years. If you want to talk more about this subject and get to hear some of the experts, please do come join us in our pavilion panel that happens on June 15th at 3.30 at DAC. See you there.